Hi guys, good evening, and welcome once again to The Edward. I am your host, Eddie, and tonight I will be discussing my reactions to the Scream TV series trailer and the newest Ant-Man trailer. So, first off, let's begin with the Scream TV series trailer. Looks very interesting, you know, I'll give it a shot, I'll give it a few episodes. I first learned about the Scream TV series... Uh, a couple of years ago, it was actually like summer of 2012, I heard it was being discussed for being created as a show. I'm like, hmm, really? Okay, all right, I'll give that a chance. I don't know how well it'll, I don't know how well it will work, but yeah, sure, why not? I'll give it a shot. I mean, it's my favorite uh, slasher franchise, so I hope, uh, you know, I, I hope, uh, you know, it, it's done well on a show. I mean... On a show, you have to keep the show separate from the movie because they're they hopefully that you know hopefully the show will create its own good and unique thing, and the movie can stay uh, the the movie will stay the same of course, but like hopefully the show can make itself good by coming up with its own uh, thing. It's hard to explain, but it's like basically the show and the movie can stay separate, but they can both be good in their own ways. That's what I'm trying to say. So the trailer shows, obviously, there's going to be some bloodshed. There's going to be some killing. And uh, we don't know if those characters are main characters or minor characters. They're most likely minor characters, the first couple episodes. And it sounds like it's a, it takes place in a town very similar to Woodsboro, a town that's got a lot of dark secrets and dark history and a lot of the characters who have secrets and some of them who are probably willing to kill to keep their secrets hidden. So that's what I got from the trailer, and it's going to be some mingling amongst the local teenagers at their high school, and of course, you know, the parents are going to be thrown in the mix, maybe a couple teachers, you know, who knows what's happened in this town, but in the trailer, it immediately makes fun of itself, because there's a guy who says, come on, you can't do a slasher franchise as a TV series, and that is exactly what the screen movies do to themselves. They make fun of themselves. That's what part of makes them so much fun, is that they are constantly poking fun at themselves, and that's great. I like that they're doing that in the show because the you know that's the show's way of acknowledging. Yeah, you know what? A lot of people are doubtful about this, but hey, let's just give it a shot and see how it goes. So, you know, it's interesting. I don't think we're going to see Ghostface anytime soon. The character or the costume, mostly the costume, obviously, because the character is a number of people, whoever the killer turns out to be. But you know, it's it's like. Uh, I think, excuse me, I think it's because Ghostface is uh, copyrighted by Dimension Films and um, they didn't give their approval or permission for him to be used, for the mask to be used. So maybe eventually, like further down the line, if the show does really well or if it becomes a, a sudden unexpected hit, maybe they'll they'll be like, okay, show's doing well, it's getting us numbers and ratings, all right, let's throw Ghostface in there, let's, uh, let's give, let's go ahead and, uh, lease him out, so to speak, but for now, I'm sure we'll get some other mask or outfit that's just as creepy and just as cool looking, because it looks like we got a few, in the trailer, as you'll watch, there are a few glimpses and teases as to a possible new costume, or at least a possible new creepy white mask, so, because obviously whenever a killing happens, I don't think we're ever going to see the killer's face because that would obviously ruin that episode of the show for us because I don't know how it's going to operate. Maybe it's going to be a different killer per season or maybe it's going to be the same killer for two seasons and then at the end of the second season they'll reveal, oh my god, it was blah blah blah. So, who knows? It's hard to tell how it'll operate, but I'm excited for it. You know, I'm going to give it a shot. I was just very surprised to see the release date had been changed from October to June 30th, uh, 2015. Because originally, um, on IMDB.com, it was slated for an October release, but I guess they decided to change it to June. So, oh well, it'll be one of the many... Uh, It'll be one of the many new summer shows that'll premiere. So, yeah, I'll at least give the pilot a shot, maybe the first couple episodes. You know, I know lots of people are already going to have their doubts about this, but a handful of us are excited as well, because I think those of us who really enjoyed the Scream franchise, you know, this is something, you know, this is something that is, you know, we, that uh, is going to be fun to look forward to, because like I said... You know, the show and the movie can remain separate, but they can both be good and great in their own special ways. So, good luck, cast and crew of Scream the TV series. The trailer looks uh, pretty promising, 
you know, it looks like it could be fun and, um, we'll see you in June. So yeah, overall though, to my reaction to this, I'm like, okay, all right. I'll give the pilot in the first couple episodes a shot, see if I like it, because I'm a big screen guy, so hopefully uh, hopefully this is, uh, this is good. Okay, so moving on to the newest trailer for Ant-Man that Marvel released. Oh my god, that was fun. That was fun, and it also it was funny, because Paul Rudd is very, very funny, and of course... Scott Lang is going to be very Paul Rudd-ish. <laughs> and uh, we finally got a, some more footage and glimpses of the villain, um, the Yellow Jacket. And oh, does he look cool. And he's got those two stinger things on the side like this, like a scorpion tails almost, but they're his stingers. Oh, Oh, it looks like fun. And it's like, you know, it, you, know you, you, you kind of laugh at the idea or the concept almost of somebody you know, having a super miniature suit that they could wear and run around in and fight crime. But, hey, it's Marvel, and they are pulling off a lot of shit. So, hey, good so good work, guys. It looks like fun. And uh, it, it looks very, very exciting. You know, it looks very funny. You know, Paul Rudd is a very, very funny man. And um, I think he's going to bring a lot of uh, humor to this role, to this character. And it makes me wonder if we're going to see him in future Marvel installments like could he appear in Avengers Infinity Wars part one and two it's possible Infinity War is supposed to be a pretty big thing with multiple Marvel superheroes so could he appear yeah absolutely why not it'd be kind of funny and really cool to see him try to go up against Thanos and whatever villains are going up against so yeah that could be fun but yeah this trailer it made it look like you know um uh, the old man, uh, Michael Douglas's character, and the woman, uh, either their father and daughter or their friends or their colleagues, and they team up to take down the guy who creates the yellow jacket suit and the technology. And he might be some kind of weapons designs contractor or something like that who's trying to create the next uh, super soldier suit for battle or something, but he goes power mad. Because in the trailer, Michael Douglas says, if you give everybody powers as if they were gods, it'll be total chaos. So maybe he recruits Scott Lang because he knows that he's a master thief. He's like, hey, here's your second chance to prove yourself. You break into this laboratory, you steal this super secret, top secret suit, and you get it out of this guy's hands so he doesn't have control or use of it anymore, and you're a changed man. He's like, yeah, okay, okay. And obviously he's trying to win the approval of his little girl because, you know, being a father in prison has made him realize, you know, what a fuck up he's been until that point. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, very, very interesting to think about um, what the possibilities are for this movie. But the battle scene, the fight scenes between Yellow Jack and Ant-Man look great. That ending scene in the trailer where it's just them on the little uh, kitty toy train set. That was super, super funny because it kept cutting back and forth to like zoom in on their perspective and it makes it look like a big action packed battle scope thing. And then it zooms out to regular perspective and it's these two tiny guys who are just fighting each other back and forth. And even the music stops, which is hilarious. And then it zooms back in, the music resumes, and they're fighting each other. Oh, it looks fun. It looks like a lot of fun. I mean, I was already looking forward to it, but now I'm super, super looking forward to it because oh, it just made it look like a lot of fun and it's going to be really, really exciting. And it does make me wonder how Ant-Man is going to fit into the Marvel Universe from now on. Will there be a sequel? Yeah, probably, most likely. Could he appear in Avengers Infinity War Parts 1 and 2 or at least one part? Yeah, of course. I mean, like I said, it's supposed to be a very, very big thing in the Marvel Universe. So why wouldn't he appear? So, yeah, uh, these trailers are very promising, especially Ant-Man. You know, I know a lot of people, including myself, are a bit skeptical about the Scream TV series. But like I always say, we got to give it a chance. We have to give it a shot. At least the pilot or the first two or three episodes. And then we'll see where it goes from there. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely try to catch the series premiere. And then um, I'll definitely be seeing Ant-Man and I'll definitely be doing my uh, review, film review of that movie when it comes out. So yeah, overall, very, very exciting, promising stuff that I've seen in these two trailers. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. And uh, it's just, it, you know, the possibilities just 
you know, the possibilities just go abound. You know, it, it makes me think about like, wow, what could happen in the, in the first season of Scream the TV series or what could happen in Ant-Man? It's just, oh, it's very exciting. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed listening. So please uh, hit that subscribe button. Feel free to comment, like, uh, sound off below. Leave your thoughts, opinions, and comments. Let's try to be respectful of one another. And stay tuned for my upcoming recap and review of my reaction to the very first full-length Star Wars episodes, Episode 7 trailer. Oh, it looks incredible. But stay tuned for that video. And until then, guys... May the force be with you.